The signs are literally out there, a reopening economy trying to build back. Fewer restrictions. Out on the street, a lot of people do say they feel pent-up demand, like Um Umzaikbal. Once the restrictions got a little looser, I felt like I just went crazy with all the money I had. But others like friend Tala Sabur, not ready to spend yet. I'm putting on upgrading my laptop um, and uh, I guess getting my own apartment. Turns out this spring, many Canadians were sitting on their wallets. While many economists were predicting growth, the economy actually shrank 0.3% from the first quarter as the third wave of COVID swept the country. Ever-changing regimes of restrictions simply kept a lot of people away from the tills. While the global semiconductor shortage hurt exports and sales of many big ticket items, particularly cars, that could go into next year. This is an important moment for Canadians to realize that semiconductors are, are, are vital uh, to the new economy and, and they underpin everything. But by far the biggest influencer, the housing market. Lots of buyers, not enough sellers. Resales and all the associated fees underperformed this spring. I think the, the takeaway here is that the recovery is going to be longer than what we had previously expected. Because our economy is bouncing back. On the campaign trail, Justin Trudeau insisted the economy is on the right track. His opponents disagree. We are heading further down the road of recession, not the road to recovery. And it's about the type of economic growth that we want. There are bright spots. Household income and savings are up. But over a year, if these trends continue, it could lead to a larger 1.1% contraction. The fourth wave looms. There's a bit of a fear towards like, I guess the pandemic this is this big unknown, right? He'll sit on his wallet a little longer. Cameron McIntosh, CBC News, Winnipeg.